you know, I think one of my kind of central premises in designing games is that most people are very narcissistic. Uh, the more you can make the game about that person, the more interested, more emotionally involved they will get. Video games are becoming the hottest new forms of interactive media, with global revenues in the billions of dollars. Some of the most popular types of games in the market today are called simulation games, or sims. The mind at work behind the most popular simulation games in history is Will Wright. Will Wright's first video game creation was a city building game called Sim City. Sim City is a game that lets users build, control, regulate, or destroy a city. Sim City was the first successful sim game of its time. Released in 1999, it quickly became one of the most popular selling video games in the computer gaming industry. Will Wright used the funding from the successful SimCity to found his game development company, Maxis. The next project to come out of Maxis was another Will Wright Sim game. This game, simply named The Sims, was a virtual dollhouse that lets users control every aspect of their avatar's life. The Sims let users control things like when the Sim gets to eat, when they get to go to the bathroom, and when they get to go to their job. The Sims soon proved to be an instant hit, selling over 50 million copies, earning it a place in history as the most popular video game of all time. Wright's newest release, entitled Spore, combines science, evolution, and video games to allow people to grow an organism from a tiny cell all the way to an intergalactic civilization. Will Wright's innovative ideas earned him a place in history as one of the most important minds in the interactive media field today.